Humanoid robots are losing control. One thrash so violently it nearly crushes its own handlers, another collapses a crane in seconds, and in China, one even crushes a little girl's foot while the crowd screams. Every one of these incidents is real, and they're happening more often. The terrifying part? Nobody can guarantee it will not happen again. And the first incident that shocked the world came from the Unitree H1, a six-foot humanoid that went viral after thrashing like it was alive. The clip showed the H1 suspended from a crane in a Chinese factory, with two technicians standing close. Without warning, the robot's limbs began flailing violently, smashing into equipment and forcing the handlers to scramble for safety. You can hear the panic in the room as metal clatters and tools fly. In seconds, the machine turned from a carefully controlled demo into a violent hazard, arms swinging with the kind of torque that could crush bone if a human got too close. The H1 is not a toy. It is a 104-pound humanoid designed to walk, run, jump, even backflip. Its joints can deliver 365 pound-feet of torque. That is the kind of force you would normally associate with industrial machinery, now packed into something shaped like a human. The truth behind the chaos was technical, but that did not make it less frightening. Engineers had tethered the robot by its head for safety, a common practice during public demonstrations, but the restraint was not accounted for in its balance software. The sensors thought the machine was constantly falling. Every time it tried to correct, the tether pulled it back, creating a feedback loop. With each cycle, the corrections grew more extreme until the robot was violently thrashing in every direction. There was no rebellion, no hidden intent, just a raw clash between code and physics. But online, context did not matter. Once the clip hit Reddit, TikTok, and Twitter, it spread without explanation. Viewers did not see a software bug. They saw a humanoid suddenly fighting back against its handlers. Comments flooded in. Skynet has arrived. This is how it starts. Why are we even building these things? The imagery alone was enough to spark panic and reignite old fears of machines turning against humans. And if you thought that was bad, what happened in San Francisco took things even further. Another humanoid, this one nicknamed d -Rec, went berserk and brought down an entire crane in front of stunned onlookers. Inside a robotics lab run by R.E.K., d -Rec was hanging from a rig when the chaos began. The robot based on Unitree's G1 platform suddenly flailed with such force that the crane supporting it buckled and collapsed. A female voice screamed off camera while the company's own chief robot fighter shouted, what the F did you guys run? The entire scene looked like the opening of a sci-fi horror movie. Speculation exploded online. Was this a planned stunt to go viral? After all, R.E.K. is literally designing humanoid robots to fight like UFC gladiators. Robots punching, kicking, slamming each other in a robotic version of cage matches. But the company insisted it was not staged. According to them, the disaster was caused by human error. Engineers had mistakenly run a full body control policy while the robot's feet were not on the ground. In that state, the robot's software reverted into walking mode, which instantly spiraled out of control. What made the incident more alarming was how hard it was to shut down. The radio-based emergency stop took five long seconds to respond, and in robotics, five seconds of uncontrolled thrashing is an eternity. In those moments, the robot's powerful actuators kept firing uncontrolled as the rig bent and twisted under the strain. Software kill commands failed entirely. The chaos only ended when the Ethernet cable finally snapped loose, severing the internet connection. By then, the rig was in pieces and the video had already gone viral. The company later joked online, please make this go viral so I can pay for repairs. But the joke did not erase what people had just seen. In seconds, a humanoid built for entertainment had transformed into a violent liability. Strong enough to collapse a crane, unpredictable enough to endanger its own creators, and nearly impossible to stop once it started spiraling out of control. That is the unnerving part about humanoids. They are not like your phone crashing or your laptop freezing. When they glitch, they move hundreds of pounds of force unpredictably, and humans nearby are the ones at risk. And sometimes the danger does not come inside a lab at all. In Guangzhou, a Unitree humanoid made headlines for stepping on a little girl's foot in the middle of a public demonstration. The child had deliberately blocked the robot's path with her shoe, testing it the way kids always do, but instead of avoiding her, the machine marched straight ahead and pressed down hard. Her shoe flew off as the crowd gasped, 
girl was not seriously injured, but the imagery was chilling. A humanoid, built with enough torque to carry heavy loads, casually crushed down on a child's foot. The incident instantly went viral, spreading panic far faster than any official explanation. Parents especially reacted with fury online. If that was my daughter, I would sue. How can you demo machines like this around kids? Robots do not belong in public if they cannot even avoid children. Unitree CEO Wang Xingxing later addressed the fail at the Summer Davos Forum in Tianjin. He admitted that safety remains one of the toughest challenges for humanoids. These robots can already walk and run, but handling unpredictable human environments is far harder. He compared it to the early days of the steam engine, a technology that changed the world but was also notorious for accidents until safety standards caught up. The Guangzhou incident reminded everyone that the line between harmless demo and dangerous mishap is paper thin. It only takes one mistake for public trust to collapse, and in robotics, once trust is lost, it is almost impossible to rebuild. And that was the same question hanging in the air when Beijing hosted what many called the Robot Olympics this August. For three days, 280 teams from 16 countries competed in humanoid challenges. Sprinting races, football matches, table tennis, even practical tasks like sorting medicine and handling materials. Companies like Unitree and Fourier Intelligence competed alongside universities and startups. The spectacle was designed to show how far robotics has come. Instead, it revealed how unstable humanoids still are. Robots stumbled mid-race, collapsed in football matches, and froze during basic tasks. Organizers said every failure provided valuable data, helping researchers refine their designs. But to viewers, it looked like a parade of unstable machines, barely able to perform under pressure. Clips of robots face-planting mid-sprint or keeling over during football matches spread across social media, turned into memes, and captioned with lines like, And these are supposed to replace us? China's Robot Olympics looking more like blooper reels. For engineers, it was valuable data. For the public, it was comedy mixed with fear. And if collapsing robots in sports was not strange enough, one of the weirdest fails came during a live orchestra rehearsal. A humanoid conductor designed to showcase how AI could guide musicians suddenly lost synchronization. Instead of graceful, measured gestures, its arms flailed wildly, its timing disintegrated, and the serious performance turned into slapstick comedy. The audience laughed and pulled out their phones. Within hours, the clip spread across social media. Online, people called it the funniest conductor of the year and proof that even robots have bad days. But experts pointed out a deeper issue. In artistic settings where precision and timing matter, even small glitches can completely derail the experience. Unlike in factories where a delay might mean seconds lost, in live performance even milliseconds of lag are disastrous. Of course, public robot fails go back years. In 2017, Boston Dynamics' Atlas robot made headlines for an embarrassing tumble off stage after a live demo where it showed off its ability to track and manipulate objects. Atlas misstepped over a projector and fell hard as the crowd gasped. For once, the world's most advanced humanoid looked clumsy and fragile. That clip never went as viral as the newer disasters, but it carried the same lesson. When humanoids stumble, people notice. And when they fall, people do not see a glitch, they see danger. Because every fail, whether it is crushing a child's foot, collapsing a crane, or losing the beat in front of an orchestra, reminds us just how unpredictable these machines are. And the scariest part is, nobody can promise it will not happen again. The next viral clip might not just terrify you on a screen, it could unfold right in front of you. If you think more people need to see what is really happening with AI and robotics, smash the like button and share this video right now. And let me know in the comments, would you trust one of these machines in your own home? Do not forget to subscribe because the next fail could be even worse. And when it happens, you will want to see it here first.